Hey there, I'm Lucas Bond with the Missouri Department of Conservation. And today on Habitat Hints, we're gonna talk about grazing livestock in woodlands and how it affects our forest resources. And I'm very grateful to be here joined with uh, Mr. MDC's uh, Seth Berrios, and he's gonna tell us a little bit about how it has an impact on woodlands and, and much more. So let me turn this around and we'll talk with Seth. All right, now we're talking grazing livestock and woodlands and the impact. So Seth, tell us, tell us a little bit about that. You know, why, why there's such huge impact and tell us about grazing and woodlands. Yeah, so, you know, open grazing in our woodlands was much a uh, common occurrence through much of Missouri. However, nowadays we have much better fencing uh, techniques, uh, rotational grazing, so we have removed a lot of livestock from our woodlands. However, there are still a few uh, properties that still have open livestock grazing. And from a, from a timber value um, or a timber resource perspective, there's really no gains to putting your livestock in the woodlands. Now, one of the things that happens with our woodlands is the first thing is we look at the reduction of oak regeneration that occurs. Then the woodland here behind me, you'll notice that there's not very much oak regeneration. There's not a lot of vegetation here at all, uh, per se. And so if we're trying to think about the next cohort of trees that we might want to harvest or um, pass on to our uh, uh, next generation, you know, we, we're, we want to try to mitigate that and remove livestock from these woodlands if that's our uh, goal and intent. So when you, have, uh, when you have livestock grazing in woodlands, as you can see, there's no green, it's all dirt, it's all nothing. It looks like there's not much anything in here. Is that because of the grazing or what? What exactly is that from? Yeah, a lot of it is from the grazing. The, the deer, or not the deer, the cattle will actually target a lot of the beneficial tree species and, and forbs that we want that for wildlife, for, uh, that also do help hold the soil together. Livestock trails going through the, the woodlands can also often lead to some erosion. That's why a lot of times you just see the big bare patches here um, that are, and are not covered by vegetation. So when raindrops hit, it hits bare soil and can lead, potentially lead to runoff and erosion. So you, I mean, looking at like when I'm panning this and you see all like the erosion and like not, I mean, what would you call it? Not great soil, not great habitat. You think a lot of that's done because of grazing in open woodlands? It can, it could certainly uh, have an impact there. Um, you know, there are some woodlands and glades that just don't have a lot of vegetation. Um, so I don't want to put every, every woodland in the same boat, but this location right here is uh, a result of the livestock grazing. So, so livestock grazing in open uh, in woodlands is not something that you would recommend. No, I would not. And you know, and if you're a hunter um, and you're hunting on that property, you know, think about it from a fawn or a turkey. You know, a turkey sitting on a nest for 28 days in this woodland. They're not going to select for a location right here because it's not going to benefit them. They're going to feel too exposed, and this is something that they're not going to select for. If it is a fawn, and the fawn is potentially dropped here in this woodland, there is a good chance that a potential predator could find her, uh, find it. And so we want to try to look to uh, remove the cattle. There are many, many programs out there nowadays with soil and water, with MDC cost share, with uh, federal cost share through NRCS to establish fencing to assist landowners on fencing out their woodlands. And that cost share uh, will help to pay uh, for a good portion of the cost to establish those fencing. Now you were saying that and uh, what can, uh, I was gonna ask you, what can landowners or farmers do so they can avoid from that? I mean, is that fencing is one of the biggest things that can help? Yeah, fencing is a big thing. Now, understand, you know, we're still going to have to provide some shade to livestock. So, so in areas, maybe a, a draw comes out or uh, maybe a little island of trees, you know, certainly I wouldn't expect those to be uh, fenced off. Um, or there's other areas where it just doesn't make sense to fence off a small portion of the, the woods. Um, grant, you know, there's always those, those exceptions. Uh, but for the most part, yeah, we want to look to try to remove and exclude livestock from those woodlands. So basically this, having the woodlands look like this, not so, not so great, but having the woodlands open and, or fenced off 
and having great habitat for deer and turkey are what we're really kind of looking for. Yeah. It, or any it, other and, animals. And, and, and there's not much forage here in the woodlands to begin with. So from a livestock perspective, they're not going to have a lot of weight gain by opening and exposing livestock to, the, to our woodlands. From a deer and turkey standpoint, it's really not beneficial to them. It's not beneficial for the regeneration of uh, future trees because what ends up happening is the stands, they tend to turn to what's behind me. A lot more cedar, hedge, locust. Uh, those are the primary species that come in uh, to our woodlands uh, with open grazing. Where can we learn more about, you know, uh ways to avoid that or cost share programs to help. I mean, where can you find all that information? Yeah, so the best thing to do is talk to your local private land conservationist. Uh, they are located in most of our USDA centers across the state, and each county uh, generally has uh, has USDA centers. Sometimes there's uh, uh, there, the one county might be sharing a USDA office, but go in and talk to them. There's certainly programs out there looking uh, to assist with fencing out livestock and reducing uh, woodland erosion. All right. Thank you very much, Seth. And thank you all for tuning in today. Again, if you want to learn more about, you know, the effects of grazing in woodlands for livestock, check out our website and you can find more information, like Seth said, for cost share programs and other information at mdc.mo.gov. Thanks for joining us today and have a great rest of the day.